Welcome everyone to Tucson, Arizona. Arizona Stadium where this red and blue crowd ready to bear down with their Wildcats. This matchup today, part of the lifeblood of the sport. A rivalry game where the results will be remembered for a lifetime. As we'll see a squad from the Big 12, the Arizona State Sun Devils. Taking on the 16th ranked team in the land, the Arizona Wildcats. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, let's get this. Arizona will kick off to get things underway. And they desperately wanted to attempt a return, but decided not to. Instead, they'll take the touchback. So the Arizona State Sun Devils offense takes the field for the first time today. And as we look out on the field, here comes the man, the man who makes it all go, and that's this quarterback. Yeah, and he's big time. That's why he's up for all these awards. He's, he's known. Everybody knows exactly what he brings to the table. He can run it. He can throw it. They're expecting a big day from this young man. A run up the middle is stopped for no gain. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Right back to the well. Crosses the 30 to the 31 and a six-yard pickup. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality and offensive line. They see assert themselves. Run block what they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. Good timing on the quick out. Great. Complete. Keep this drive moving, and they've got it at the 45. The Sun Devils will line it up on first and ten. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. They'll try the run. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. Just a simple power play. Power football. Be strong. Be big. Be physical. Make it a fourth quarter game. Make him feel you. Keep him up. They tried to go smash mouth on third and short, and it did not work against this defense. And the Sun Devils send out the punt unit. He ought to be able to use this first punt to pin him deep. On the move, it's McMillan. They'll get him down at the 21-yard line. The coverage team able to stop him right there. The Wildcats offense will take the field for the first time. One way to mitigate the explosive capabilities he has on the outside is be physical with him, and this dude will do that. He will do that, and you don't see a lot of offenses take the top off this deep because of this guy roaming around in the middle of the field. He is a true center fielder, so this receiver is going to have to make plays. I just does such a great job of getting guys on the ground. A lot of people are in position, but he makes plays, so him versus a dynamic wide receiver on the outside would be a great matchup. Second and ten here. Here we go, here we go. Scanning the field, it's Fafita. He's right on target. Really nice job there by both guys to throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. And these wide receivers work the middle of the field. So much of this is feet. Understanding where the holes are in the zone or understanding how to get leverage on a man. And these wide receivers are dangerous nowadays because they do it so fast and see that so quick and make those plays up the middle. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. And as the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. The biggest lie college football coaches tell is nameless, faceless opponent. David, game like this, you know their name and you know their face. <laughs> you know them well, and it does mean just a little bit more because it's bragging rights. Like, the rivalries matter so much. All throughout the year, all the fans talking about this game in particular, that's why it means more, and that's why these players will be jacked out of their minds. And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. And the Wildcats look to keep this drive humming. To the air on first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Conley. At the 35, he's loose. 
The expressway is wide open. He is down at the one. A terrific run after the throw and catch. And what a play call. You can feel maybe a little bit of aggressiveness. This defensive line flying upfield. What do you do? Throw a screen right behind it. Get it to your running back. Let him do the rest. Chew up some yardage and make the big play for the offense. On first and goal, let's see what Arizona does. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he's going to take it to the house. Touchdown, Arizona. And it feels good to land that first big punch against a rival, doesn't it? No doubt. In a game like this, too, you just want to be executing at a high level early. So, David, that's got to feel great getting on the board first. And settles everyone down. All the nerves, all the emotion of this rivalry game. Now everybody can kind of settle in because you know you already got a touchdown on the board. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And they thought about a return, then thought better of it. They'll bring it out to the 25. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a... That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did. And, David, they're just going to have to do a better job this time around erasing the mental mistakes. And just trying to solve the defensive riddle, understanding what they're trying to do to you and attack them. Well, the QB decided to keep it on that one. And listen, if you had his athleticism, you'd want to keep it, too. Almost every time they run these types of option plays. But he's just going to have to do a good job of understanding when to hand it off, when to pitch it and try to keep this defense on their heels and read his keys. He's got a lot of talent. He's got to make sure he's making the right decisions moving forward. And a nice job by the offense, picking up the blitz, understanding that extra guy was coming, and creating just a little bit of a hole for that running back to slither through and get some positive yards. Bully ball on third and short. There he goes down the right side. The 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown, Sun Devils! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. I love the execution on that play. Great blocking up front just to get the ball carrier an opportunity in the second level of the defense. And then at that point, it was make a guy miss and use the speed. That was a perfectly executed play. After that latest answer, tied things up, just about set to kick it away again. Here he comes from inside his own five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes a stop. Cranking up a drive like that can really get you going. It's first down from the 44. He's going to pass. Got out of trouble, got rid of it. Makes the grab. It's McMillan. And he was off to the races. Finally tripped up at the 36. That big pickup on what they call the drag route, but if you hit it on time, you can hit the turbo boosters. And you've got to be accurate on the throw, too, Reese. Nice job by the QB there, putting it out in front of his receiver to make an easy catch and then advance it. They go to the ground. Got enough for the first. And he's brought down after a nice game. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this run game going. On the move, it's Fafita. Escapes the pressure to his right. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. And the defense drags him down. Arizona has it in the red zone. And you see so many smart wide receivers, so many smart tight ends nowadays that they know where the holes in those zones are, and they work with their quarterback, and they find them, and they sit down in them and make big plays. It's tough to sit back in zone against such smart players nowadays.
They've got it in field goal range, but they'll try to convert this third and long from the 20. Goes to the option. And now on the pitch, the ball's loose. Got enough space. Gets it into the end zone, but there's a flag down. We'll see if this one is coming back. They say you could call holding on every play. Well, they did on that one. as we take a quick look at some stats. Fafita. Now improvising. He's going to run it. Finds a crease at the 20. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his speed as he moves those sticks. Sometimes these guys just have eyes in the back of their head. You saw it right there. He was able to buy himself time, get outside the pocket, and at that point, I think the decision was pretty easy. Hey, I can go get this with my feet. He was able to do that. Now they got a fresh set of downs. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. And you get more and more hits on the QB like this right there, more and more making him scramble out of the pocket to the right, that's winning. He's going to start to see ghosts. He'll start to panic. He'll start to speed up that processor. Nice job by the defense making that quarterback feel very, very uncomfortable. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Wildcats! Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And no chance at a return here. They'll start this drive at their own 25. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. David, they'd love to do what they did last time and put this one in the end zone. You ain't lying. They did a great job. The offense was clicking. Everything went well. Palmer, they executed and got the touchdown. And they really were in a nice rhythm as well. I'd love to see that here on the next drive, too. Just keep doing what you're doing. Everything seems to be working, and you seem to have this defense on their heels. From the shotgun, the handoff to the back. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good game before the stop is made. Kept it on the ground last time, bringing up a second down. Power football with the run. He had all kinds of company as soon as he got it. He had to fight his way back just to get to the line of scrimmage. Offense breaks the huddle. It's third down. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That would be had a different story. He had something to say. Coming up, making a physical tackle. The Sun Devils will bring the punt team onto the field. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. The punt goes out of bounds and a nice job to get them backed up. I think they'll spot it right around the 15. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. What a good mix of plays keeping that defense off balance last time, David. And, and Reese, they don't know if it's run or if it's pass. They got them right where they wanted. This defense doesn't know how to react. From Fires into traffic and intercepted. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the interception. And the senior just snatched the ball out of the air and gave it back to his offense. 
Tell you what, when you come out of your own end zone, you know, in the shadow of your own end zone, a lot of bad things can happen. You want to kind of get a few first downs, get some space, so if you punt after that point, you can pin them a little bit deep. This is the exact opposite of what happened. Now you set them up in beautiful scoring field position already. Really bad play by the offense. Caught behind the line. It's scatterable. And the defense had that one well covered. Just a short game there. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Give to the single back. Got some room. Headed to the goal. Touchdown, Arizona State! And the running back gets his second rushing touchdown of the game. You want to continue to feed this guy. You could tell he's got a nose for the end zone, knows how to get in there, knows how to make things happen. Lining up to add another. Bangs it through for an extra point. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Well, the good news about this drive, Jesse, it can't go worse than last time through a pick on the first play. No, it certainly can't. I think one good way, David, to help your quarterback turn the page is just find him an easy completion here and let him get back into it. Yeah, or find him an easy handoff. Just hand the football off, maybe get the ground game going, maybe jumpstart this offense a little bit. And now on second down for this offense. Pocket starts to collapse. And the quarterback is knocked down back at the 13. The defense coming up big there, and the sack is great, but the secondary deserves some credit, too. No doubt. When you can cover like that in the secondary and drop back in your zone and only rush a few, and you feel comfortable getting home, and they're going to... And it's caught inside the 30. Turns it on down the left side. Touchdown, Arizona. And once he got loose, it was all over. Man, how hard is it to defend? You have a weapon like this at running back that can play wide receiver. You can design ways to get the football in his hand. Palmer, once you get it in his hands, he'll do the rest. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, and oftentimes those are easier throws for quarterbacks. And these running backs, they're just naturally so good when they have the football out in space, their vision, their creativity, their ability to make people miss. And this guy showed you right there a difficult, difficult guy to stop now if you're this defense moving forward. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. And he'll just take a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. The way this game started, you feel as if you have to score a touchdown every time you have it, and now we'll see if they can respond. Yeah, and I wonder how much pressure that puts on the offense. Jesse, like, you know this is back and forth, and I got to score, and every possession matters so much. What does that do to you as a quarterback? Well, it puts a lot more pressure on you for sure to feel like I got to make every third down throw. If guys are open vertically down the field, I got to hit them too. We can't let our serve get broken. Got it set up on the outside. They make the stop, but there is a flag on the field. We'll see what that's all about. Personal foul. Roughing the pass. Defense. Look, you want to make the quarterback feel you. You want to get pressure in his face. That was so close, but just a tad late. You want to be physical with the quarterback, but you can't give up those roughing the passer penalties. It's first and ten. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Man, this offense is built behind this guy. I mean, a guy that you can hand the football to consistently and expect positive yards all day long, all game long. Now he's over 100 yards up the day. We've reached a two-minute warning, and we have ourselves a ball game, and they have a chance to take the lead here before the half. Offense gets set for second down. Yeah. 
He's looking to throw. Missed his receiver there. It's incomplete. Third and short from the 44, and we might know if they plan to go for it on fourth down by what they call here. From the gun, wants to pass. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. And the Sun Devils decide to punt it away. He'll get it out to about the 20-yard line, and that's where they'll mark him down. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication is going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. I like that big Reliable security from there. And that's what tight ends are a lot of times. They're just usually big, huge guys that if I throw it anywhere near him, he's going to pluck it, catch it, and give me some positive yards. Running back searching for a hole. Slam to the ground, but not before he gets the first down. All right, defense, that's, that's what we can't do. We can't give up this many chunk yards on the ground. Got to commit more guys to the line of scrimmage. Got to get those running backs on the ground. That's way too easy. With the first down, they'll put it in play from the 33. Right back to the well. Got enough for the first, and he's still going. And they'll move the chains and get it to the 47-yard line. Right away after picking up a first down, they go right back to their playmaker at running back. And I love the push they got up front, getting a hat on a hat, opening a huge hole for the back. And you become so hard to defend when you can run the football. What a snag by the defense. Taking it the other way. He'll finally go out of bounds, but he was showing off all the skills after that interception. When you get that quarterback and he starts to leak outside the pocket like that and roll, you roll with them. Those linebackers are supposed to move and shift with them, start to take away the field towards the sideline, because think about it. He's not going to throw it back across his body. The defense read it well, moved with the rollout, and made the big play. After the misfire now on second down, he's looking to throw. They're setting up the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass. It just never developed. There's a timeout call as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Trying to move the sticks on third down. Through. And the pass hits, picked off! He was trying to get that return going. Instead, he'll hand it to his offense at the 38. What a nice catch by the defensive back. Listen, a lot of times you see DBs get in position to make plays, but there's a reason they play DB and not wide receiver. Great job finishing the interception, catching the ball, and making a big play. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Finds a spot in the middle. They make the stop, but the sweet rolling catch is plenty to give them a first down. They'll immediately call timeout. And after that pitch and catch, he's already over 200 yards, and we're in the first half, Jesse. Man, Reese, he's dialed in right now. He's really doing a nice job seeing the field, reading coverages, and finding Let's his go. open guy. Back to throw, it's Fafita. He wants to take the top off. And the DB making a huge play, knocking it away downfield. After they couldn't connect, it's second and 10. Here we go, here we go. He's looking to throw. Grabbed in the middle, it's McMillan. Brought down at the 38, it's a pickup of 10 and a first down. The offense quickly calls timeout to stop the clock. The Wildcats have it with a first and ten. He's looking to throw it. Fires to the wideout. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. That's a ball that this offense should be able to complete. They had the coverage they wanted. Receiver ran on the route. Just an inaccurate throw by the quarterback. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. 
on second down, just keeps firing. The pass falls incomplete, and there are eight seconds left. Yeah, and he looked like he had the opportunity to secure that, obviously, open over the middle of the field, but you know how that works. Middle of the field, more defenders. Am I going to get whacked when I hit this thing? It makes those guys think a little bit, and you see more drops over the middle of the field. Quarterback checking the play. On third and long, try to convert. He'll take a shot. Pass falls incomplete, and there are still three seconds left. I tell you what, I don't know if the offense was expecting man coverage that time. Third and long in field goal range, you're expecting it to be zone. Instead, they lock them up man-to-man, -man, everybody on an island, everybody won. They get the incompletion now setting up fourth. One more play before the teams head to the locker rooms. On fourth down, they'll a shot toward the end zone. Incomplete. He took a shot on the final play of the quarter and couldn't quite find his man. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, all the tradition, all of the bad blood between these programs, it's all kind of come to a boil today in a spirited first half in the fight for the Territorial Cup. And it's been a battle of wills between these two teams through two quarters. Bend, but don't break. They've managed to neutralize the explosive playmakers on each side by shutting down passing windows and providing tight coverage. Forget the Jimmys and Joes. This second half could really be about the X's and O's. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Thanks for that halftime report, Kevin. The Sun Devils will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. On the run from inside his own five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Arizona has it back. The offense coming out to bear down. They have the lead to start the third quarter, but I'd imagine ball security was a topic at halftime. Yeah, and I think you take the lead and you try to stay optimistic with your team, but you also say, guys, if we had taken care of the football, this lead would be even bigger. We might have already knocked them out already, Palmer. It's just about eliminating the mistakes at this point. You're right. This thing would be over if they hadn't shot themselves in the foot. So ball security, that is at a premium as this game goes on. That back had absolutely nowhere to run the football. Actually, is he counting? I think he's counting to make sure there's only 11 guys on defense. Looking for that first down on third and short from the 28. Looking to pass. It's Fafita using his feet to buy time. Still running at the 40. He'll have enough for the first down, and they stop him at the 45. He's got such good awareness in the pocket. He does a good job of feeling the rush, and you know it's a pass, and you want to keep your eyes downfield, but he sees an opening. And the ball comes out. What a disastrous play. And they are fortunate to get the ball back, but unfortunate to have a long way to go after that loss. So after reviewing the undisputable video evidence, the replay booth has decided to overturn the call. Big first down sack for the defense. Brings up second down. Moving out to the right. Trying to make magic on the scramble. He goes out of bounds after a solid gain on the play. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this game. It's so nice when you know it's third and long, you know a pass is coming, you worked on it all week, get your feet set at the sticks, understand that quarterback's got to be rushed, get him off of his spot. Nice execution by this defense. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. After that last pick, David, they really need to take care of the ball this time. 
No doubt. And, and Palmer, I want to know what Spurrier said to you on the sideline after a pick. Do that again, and you'll be right here beside me for the rest of the game. <laughs> you got to go out. You got to call your plays. And I hope this coaching staff isn't going to be afraid to throw at this drop. It's really hard when you get in those predictable situations. Defenses are sitting on the sticks. Receivers have to understand where that first down marker is. Heads up. And they got him. They'll get him down for the sack. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell the defense was not buying it. Got in the backfield, got the big play. A first down sack can wreck a drive. Let's see what they got on second and 14. Looking for room. It's scannable. Still on his feet at the 45. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And the Sun Devils racing to the line in the hurry up. Receiver on the move gets the touch pass. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Now on second down. They'll run play action. Unloads to the wideout. Pulls it in. And he'll run out of bounds, but a much-needed, productive play in the passing game. The Sun Devils will have it first and ten. Well, Reese, you and I were talking about this before the game. How is this defense going to be able to deal with all the speed they have offensively? You saw them just rip off a big play. And, Jesse, now their head's spinning just a little bit. Give up a big chunk play, and it's right back at them. After the incompletion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. They're trying to get to it. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. This pass rush is serious, man. If you watch them on film, they do a nice job in the back end, taking away all the throws downfield. He's trying to get to his check down, but that pressure it gets to him, and they hit force the incomplete. Throws to the wideout. He's got it. So close to that end zone. He could almost taste it, but it'll be first and goal for this offense. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. The aerial assault continues. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Sun Devils. A score for the big fella here. Why are tight ends so effective in the red zone? Well, these aren't the guys that are going to burn by you and go for 70 most of the time. But when you can use their big body frames, threaten them to run the football and be a blocker in the running game, and now you slip them in the secondary, make that big play. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Man, not much wiggle room for the ball carrier there. I'm not really sure what they can do to try to create some space. I know block better. How about the offensive lineman push some guy backwards and make some holes? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. To throw. It's Fafita. Coming after it. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. It doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Off the play fake. Fires to the middle. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Arizona runs out the punt team. It's a nice job by the receiver working past the sticks. Looked like it was going to be a first down by the offense, but how about the physical play knocking that ball loose? Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. How big is this drive? They scored a touchdown the last time they had it. Defense gets a stop, and now it's up to them in a tie game. All right, so if you're the offensive coordinator here, let's dial it in. Who are your best matchups and best playmakers to take advantage of this golden opportunity? Yeah, and I'm interested to see this defense, too. Like, the momentum is clearly not in your favor. How do you get it back? How do you make a big play? 
Do you be more aggressive here to try to get the football back to your offense? And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. This has been a tight one. Third quarter all tied up. It's now second and ten. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Couldn't really get started there. Pick up of one to the 35. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Got his man. Really confident throw and catch there. Big pickup, and they have a first down. And the Sun Devils headed quickly to the line. There's a reason third down is called the money down. What a great find by the quarterback. Great job finding his receiver. Uh, at the end of the game, you look at third down percentages, it tells a huge story, and it goes a long And he'll take this into the end zone, but hang on just a second. Flag down. Let's see what this is about. Offense, offense. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. What a day it's been on the ground for these two guys, and they just seem to get stronger as the game goes along as we take a look at the numbers. This is when winning plays are made, and we start right now in the fourth. They'll break the seal on this quarter here on first down. On the ground, it's Scatabo. Sweet cut there. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. Operating in the red zone here on second down. They'll run it. It's Scatterbone. Keeps those legs churning for three yards. He's down at the nine. Well, they'd love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They'll throw on third and short. Feeling some heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. It was once said that greed is good, but that quarterback got a little too greedy, and it was not good. No, it wasn't good, but if we get rid of the football just a second earlier um, and not taking the sack, not gotten the negative play, I think it would have been just fine. I, I don't mind the aggressive play nature to try to throw it and try to take a shot because I know the defense is going to be aggressive on third and short. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Arizona has it back, the offense coming out to bear down. Last time, David, it was 1-2-3 kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on the field. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Handoff to the single running back. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. Maybe this will breathe a little life into this offense, which has been flatlined in the second half. Here's first and ten. They'll run the jet sweep, making the defense go sideline to sideline. He showed it all there. A little elusiveness, a little power, and he's got the first down. The Wildcats come to the line with a new set of downs. Give to the running back. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. That linebacker was a heat-seeking missile, and the heat that he sought was the ball carrier. Yeah, great job, great feel. Linebackers are making all the calls in the defense and understanding when I need to come through that gap and come through with bad intentions. Those guys are usually 245 pounds of heat-seeking missile. After the run, 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 now to throw. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. 
If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Quick pass to the left, trying to get it to the marker. Crosses the 30, he's got a lane. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And as a defense, how scary is it having to defend this guy? He's one of the fastest players in America, and you saw it on that last play. It's not necessarily throwing him the ball over your head. They just get it to him quickly. The hard part now is running and tackling that guy. Not easy to do. Arizona will try to pay off this red zone trip. Ready, ready. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, you're in the red zone. You bring out a bunch of tight ends on the field. So the defense, they were expecting run on that one. They were physical, and they were able to force the negative play. This could be the biggest play of the game so far. Third down and two. Now the toss. Perfectly timed on that pitch, and they pick up the first down on the play. Well, the defense knew coming into this one it was going to be a physical game. Guys are going to have to be great at the point of attack and get off blocks and make tackles. They couldn't stop the offense from picking up that first down on that one play. And if they want to take the lead, can't be thinking field goal here. They'll need a touchdown to go up in the fourth. They'll keep it on the ground for first and goal. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And that's why it's hard to run down by the goal line. The defense just has so many bodies crowded into the line of scrimmage. Offense couldn't get it done that time. Defense rolls up deep in its own end on that last play. Now a second and long coming. Back to throw. It's Fafita. Got it. Touchdown, Wildcats. And with that, they've got the lead here in the second half. What a great job by this offense. And listen, I judge offenses by what they do in the clutch, in those big moments and right before the half, in the fourth quarter late in the game, just like right here. You need a score. You've got to go take the lead. They do everything they can. Now, defense, you're up. I need you to get me a stop. And it'll come out to the 25. No attempt at a return. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. This is everything you could hope for in a rivalry game like this. Close game, waning moments, history waiting to be made, guys. And it's moments like this why you come and play for these two schools, right? To play in a game like this, in a rivalry like this, in a situation, David, game on the line late, who's going to take it? And you know when you make this play, you're immortalized. With this kind of rivalry, these are the highlights they'll be showing for years. Everybody be like, I remember when so-and-so made that play against our big biggest rival to seal the deal. And he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. They've got a first down. They're in plus territory, and they've got a chance to win the game. Get set, get set. Looking to move it through the air. They get to him as he throws. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. And imagine the defense in this scenario, right? You're up by one possession. You need to get to the quarterback. You've got to affect him. You're going to blitz, or you're going to try to win one-on-one -on -one up front. They did it. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. And they'll close in on him after a good return on the interception. That might be the nail in the coffin, fellas. This offense, they're trying to get back in the game. They're having to be aggressive. You're now going to have to start taking chances. An errant throw ends up in the hands of the defense, and I think that's all she wrote. Arizona sending the offense onto the field. Okay, Jesse, this is a little bit of a tight spot. You'd love to be aggressive enough to get the first down, but you've got to take care of the ball first. No doubt. I was going to say, ball security is at a premium. You cannot turn the football over at this point. The defense has three timeouts left. And the ball is caught. He's inside the 35. Flying down the left side. Touchdown, Arizona. And once 
Once he found open space, the band might as well start playing. That is exactly what you want your offense to do. You want it to eat clock, but if you score, go up by two possessions, nail beat Coffin. Great execution by this offense to put this game away. Getting set for the point after. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So seeing quarterback one snap put it in the end zone. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He thought about bringing that out for a half second, but he'll take a knee and they'll bring it to the 25. Arizona State is going back on offense, and they come out looking for a spark. They're starting to feel a little desperation here, David. They just can't press yet. Hey, it's go time. we, we got to put some drives together down multiple possessions, Jesse. We don't have any time to waste. Yeah, so at this point of the game, your best players have to touch the football. You've got to dial up plays, getting your biggest playmakers involved now if you're going to win this game. He's looking for an open man on second down. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. He found plenty of room, and he gets it to the 39-yard line. Apparently some confusion as the offense calls the timeout. It's their first of the half. He'll come out throwing on first down. Complete to the left. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. The Sun Devils come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Going up top on first down. Wide open downfield. Right on the money with that throw. The defense was there, but they are in the red zone with a first down at the 12. Looking to go up top on first down. Quarterback needs to make a better throw there. Incomplete. Going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the end zone. And it's caught for the late touchdown. So how about this? Maybe we are set up for a finish. Number seven. And listen, still a ways to go. But great job by this offense getting you back in the ball game. Now we got a one possession game. We got our score. We did what we're supposed to do. Now how do we get this stopped? Now the defense has to come up big and get me the rock back. And the extra point is good. Just under 30 seconds left, so they've got a chance if they can get this onside kick. That's why they call them the hands team. They're able to secure the onside kick. Yeah, and this is why you put your hands team on the field most of the time. You, when you know it's coming and you put those guys that are great catchers of the football. The first guys, what do they do? They go block. They go blow somebody up. The next guys catch the football, secure it, get your butt on the ground. And most of the time when you do this, the ball game is over. They move the tight end all over. Looking for a crease. It's Haynes. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Timeout called by the defense. 23 seconds left on the clock. And that's exactly what I want from my offense. Like, listen, they're out of timeouts. I want this clock to tick. Now, we have seen some college coaches across college football continue to run the football and also give up the football and give a gift to the other team. This one's over if I just take a knee. Movement from the linebackers trying to mess with the offensive line's assignments. They're in control. The clock is their friend. You'd have to expect another run here on second and six. There's a difference between being methodical and thorough and slow. They were slow, and they got the flag. They'll line up for a second down play. Looking for a man. It's Fafita. Fires to the wideout. Finds a man on the left. And he crosses the goal line for the late touchdown, and that one just might finish this baby off. Game is essentially over right now. You wonder if it's really necessary to jack up the score like this. 
It might not be necessary, but I won't be forgotten. I can tell you that because coaches, they don't forget things like this late in games. You want to run the score, get that extra touchdown. I'll get the chance in the future to do this back to you. I like it. Just keep it in the back of your mind. PAT unit on the field. And the extra point extends the lead to double figures at 10. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. And it'll be a touchback. The ball will come out to the 25-yard line. Arizona State has the ball back in the offense, making its way onto the field. I know the situation looks bleak, but have we nothing if we don't have hope, David? Amen. I mean, keep hope alive, pitch this pill around, use every... And they couldn't hold off the heat, and he goes down with the sack. And the Sun Devils will hustle to the line. DBs will try to keep everything in front. After this, it'll be a wrap. On third and long, no secret what he needs here. Unloads to the right. Complete downfield. They make the stop and the clock strikes zero, and that will do it for this one. No matter how much college football changes, realignment, all of that kind of stuff, rivalries are consistent and winning rivalry games, well, that's just the best. Because they hate each other so much, so you take the field against your rival, you're able to put forth a performance like that. That is worth its weight in gold, David. Unbelievable effort here by the winning team of bragging rights now. Bragging rights for a while. It's, it's a fun thing to be able to accomplish. Now we also got to take in the next couple games because this is always there's a letdown that naturally happens after these big rivalry wins. We feel like our chest is poked out. We got to look on to the next game, focus in on this next one. That's going to do it for us from here for Jesse Palmer, David Pollock. I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.